Hi there, greetings from Cleveland Marshall Law School at Cleveland State University. I'm Barbara Andelman, the Assistant Dean for Missions and Financial Aid. And uh, thanks for joining the discussion today about personal statements. I just want to give some tips uh, about personal statements. I once figured out that I had read over 30,000 personal statements during my career. So I have some ideas about what makes a good one and I hopefully I can uh, assist you in thinking about how to put yours together. First of all, unlike at co the college level, most law schools uh, just give you the opportunity without a topic to write a personal statement. And this really befuddles people. And here's the thing, there's no magic topic that we're hoping you'll stumble into or a trick to see whether you touch on the magic topic. As I said, I've read over 30,000 personal statements and if they were all on the same topic, it would be very difficult to get through those. Instead, this is an opportunity for you to shine and to let us know a little bit about you. Think of this as an opportunity, as I said, to tell us about yourself, what motivates you, what has happened in your life? What do you want hoping will happen in your life? What, if you were able to sit down and have a, a conversation with the admissions committee, what would you want them to know about you? So here's this thing. You want to draw the reader in. You want to get them hooked. You want them to root for you. You want them to think, oh, wow, this is a person I would just love to have in the student body. And I think they'll be a fantastic alum thing is, is that you're not putting your life story together, uh, starting it when you sit down to write your personal statement. You've been putting that story together your whole life. So everything you've done in your life until now shows who you are, reflects your passions and the themes of your life. One thing I would recommend you not do is use your personal statement to narrate your resume. That what happens is that each paragraph is a new uh, t topic in your uh, resume. I did this and I did this and I did this. And it's easy for the reader to just keep, you know, quickly jump through those things to get a sense of the things you've done, but it doesn't give you a, a sense of who you are. And you can just attach your resume and that's what you should do. Don't swallow a dictionary and try to use big words. If you don't normally use them, it sounds phony. It sounds fake. Let your real voice come through and don't talk in the, don't write it in the third person. Um, you don't have to have been involved in 20 different activities, you know, or have three majors and two minors and have had a really big legal internship. Whatever you've been involved in has affected your perspective and your passions and your direction in life. So tell us, you know, how did you contribute? What did you learn from it? Did you take a leadership role? Maybe it was a difficult lesson. Um, all of those things are, are good topics for you to think about in sort of crafting the narrative that you want to share with the admissions committee. I wish you good luck. I look forward to seeing uh, your application and all the best from our Cleveland Marshall family to yours. Thank you.